Welcome, welcome, welcome. I wanted to stream me actually making that song, um, but technical issues, not knowing really how the whole thing works, figuring it out, uh, which I did. Um, so it's going to be kind of a summary, but first I want to explain the process. So what I've done is, is the following. I've, um, I've set up a musical idea randomizer because I'm not really that creative and I wouldn't know what the, uh, what the original idea would be. So I decided to not program, but make a little Excel file, which I'm going to show you now. Um, and that's, and that's what it is. And when I press, press the magic key, you can see stuff moves. So I decided that I needed a melody, a bass melody. Um, I needed, I needed a style of music. By the way, the, the noises you're hearing in the background, I'm going to show you that later on. It's really cool. Um, the length, the tempo, the time signature and the words, if there are any words. Um, so what options do we have? Well, notes are notes. They're all the notes of the standard, uh, uh scale. Um, here, the styles, the style that shows either a movie style, you know, Hans Zimmer, John Williams, you know, thing for movies, pop, because pop's easy to do as it's not, but rock metal. So I'm horrible playing guitar. Um, but you know, who cares? Electronic um ambient dance i might remove dance we'll see because it might be the same as electronic and then weird because yeah it's like the misc category length uh 30 seconds actually you know what i'm gonna make it a minute because it's easy and because here i'm not gonna have uh let, let's replace it with something else so we have movie pop rock metal electronic ambient what what do we replace what do we replace dance with uh, I, I can't do prog. I really can't, but I love it. So we'll see. Um, time signatures. So time, time signatures, I've, I've done mostly 4-4. You see half of the time, yeah, six out of actually seven out of 12, I've done 4-4 four, four because 4-4 four, four is one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two. Very easy. Shut up. Um, but I wanted to throw in some more interesting things like coming later, three, four waltz, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, very easy. Uh, by the way, waltz doesn't mean it's going to be classical music. There's some very nice songs in three, four that are completely modern. 12, eight, that's the blues, um, kind of thing where, uh, also all the, uh, all the gallop, um, uh, all the iron maiden, that, 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 that's all one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, very, very quickly. There's some five, four, uh, five, four is counted. Uh, it, it's one, two, three, four, one, one, two, three, four, one, one. Now there's actually some famous music in five, four, uh, for example, mission impossible. Bap, 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 bap. This is five. There's also, um, Dave Brubeck jazz. I can't sing either, by the way, but anyway, that's five, four, seven, eight, uh, is kind of cool. Uh, it's typically proggy seven, eight and nine, eight, um, because seven, eight is kind of, you just don't finish it. So you would count it one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, that, that would be eight, eight. And then seven, eight, just take one, one out. So it's a one, two, three, four, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, one. You see, it's like, uh, it's, it's really moving forward. It's, it's kind of accelerating. Whereas the nine, eight is, is the opposite. You add a note at, at the end. So you go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, one. So it adds a little bit. So it kind of slows the whole thing down. So anyway. Those are the reasons we have, um, words now, um, half times there's not going to be any words because I can't write words for my life, which you will shortly see. But I thought, you know, sometimes it's nice to put words on 
things musical so anyway so space because i like space and it makes for pretty cool stories i guess love because hmm? the end of the world because i think it's fitting a consultant's life because i'm a consultant and lord of the rings because i'm a geek and i love lord of the rings and more elves and dwarves and actually the name of my company is actually a translation of a word in quenya which is the word of the uh, of the elder of the uh, of the ancient elves so bite me so those are the um, the options we have and um so let me just go back here here we go um so basically i press the magic button and options come and what i've done is i've actually put those here as you can see in this little uh, notepad song ideas these are all things that come from the musical idea randomizer so the notes i got were g sharp g sharp d sharp a so let's go to the little this guy let's go g sharp g sharp d sharp a so g sharp g sharp oops g sharp g sharp d sharp a now interesting feature there's nothing particular about these two notes you can do anything with them but here now that's a semitone and it's it's kind of a weird interval so it's nice because you can hold already here just with these three notes da, 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 da. Ooh, tension which is nice because it goes with the weirdness kind of nicely so what I do when I have my notes, I'm going to my little website here and I say, okay, give me a scale. Help me with the sequence of notes that can help me find chords. And that's what a scale is for. Uh, let's include all the nice options and find me a scale. Now, this, the scales we're going to find are E major. Now, the problem with E major is that it's A. Uh, and there's E. It, E major has an E. The, the first uh, note of the scale of E major is actually E. Now, I don't have an E, by the way, in my notes. And the notes I have are G sharp, G sharp, D sharp, A. There's no E. And I thought it'd be, you know, kind of cheating a little bit. So I looked down and I found this baby here. A Lydian. A Lydian, as we'll shortly see, has a scale structure of one, two, three, sharp, four, five, six, seven. Now, what the hell does that mean? All right. Um, let's do um, let's do A. So A standard, A major. How does it sound? It's like, it's like it sounds like a major scale. Right? Very, very easy, very known, very okay. Now you take that and the fourth degree of the scale, so let's count. One, two, three, four. That's a D. Now we don't have a D. As you can see here, notes of the scale, we have a D sharp. So we raise the fourth degree of the scale. One, two, three. Instead of four, we go four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So it's a, it's a different feeling. Listen carefully. Now, the Lydian scale is known by film composers because it's the wonderment and discovery uh, scale. There's tons of movie. Look online and look for uh, Lydian movie music or something like that, and you'll find like tons of it. And you, you, you can hear it. It's like... Da, 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 da. So it's like, oh, what's going to happen? So I thought this is a cool scale. So here, look, those are some triad, some chords. So I wrote the chords down. C sharp minor, D sharp diminished, E, F sharp minor, G sharp minor, A and B. And that gave me some keys. Which, oops, sorry about that, which I wrote right here those are the chords i wanted to start with which is not what i did anyway but it doesn't matter right now it was time to come and do some uh because i, I said 
it, it has words about the consultant's life. And I had an experience with a, a, a client uh, a few, few days ago. And uh, something kind of stuck, like, you know, the client's evil. He's evil. So I thought, the evil client, there you go. So it's going to be about an evil client. And I just spit out the first things that came to my mind. So the evil client is back. The damn idiot is a hack. What to do, what to do. I wrote that in about 20 seconds. As you can see from the quality of the writing, that's what you get with 20 seconds of writing. So, but, and it's, I struggled to find the last one. So it's not, it's not really that great, but it'll do. Give me the money, that's what they'll do. Because they're evil, at least they can give me some money. Uh, I'm going to suck them dry. <laughs> Evil. Um, so evil client, evil consultant. Give me the money. That's what they'll do. And I had my words and I thought, OK, um, let's do it. So that's where we go to um, our good friend uh, Reaper. Now, what is Reaper, you might ask? Reaper is, let me find Reaper. Reaper is my interface, is my DAW, my digital audio workstation. That's where you make music. And I thought, okay, um, yeah, one thing I did not mention is I thought it'd be really cool to do spoken word on a musical background because with that, you could probably put words on that, but I didn't feel like it. And I thought, eh, I can do what I want. It's my video. So anyway, so I, I did, I, I thought I would do musical background with spoken words on top. That's what I did. So I thought musical, musical ambiance, musical, musical, musical. What do I need? So I thought, let's pull up contact. Contact is a sampler by Native Instrument. That's all. By the way, everything I have here, almost everything is free. So because, because. Um, already the design is kind of cool. Uh, let me just show you the kinds of sounds you can get. course uh, because that's not this one that's already really cool by the way but now oh yeah baby all right so you have some cool sounds um, and there's four different environments you can pull stuff from um, the first one, I'm going to show them. By the way, to uncover them, I had to solve riddles. That's That was really cool. Uh, in a plugin, by the way. So these these guys are really cool. The company is called Embertone. E-M-B-E-R-T-O-N-E. -E -E. um, and, and that's a free thing, by the way. So so the first um, is, is a kind of a... Let me show you. <laughs> it's like a prison. Yeah, baby. All right, you get these sounds. The second one is a nice violin. And by the way, that's where the sounds are coming from. The sounds you hear in the background. Um, by the way, I was up last night pretty late, and uh, it was all dark. I swear to God, how many times did I just go back? Because it's it's so well done in terms of sound that you really there's crackling, there's this the, the floor cracking like you were you, you working on uh, you walking on on wood. Uh, so. Here, the different articulations, you have, you have a staccato, you can have sustain, you can have a tremolo, or not. I like the staccato, because you can do ostinatos with staccato. So it's all Italian because classical music was kind of invented by Italians a little bit. Let's not be completely chauvinistic, but anyway, so you can do uh, the famous, uh, you can do the, uh, and it sounds really cool. So, violin, the third one is just really cool. You can see this, it's a voice. Here she is. Now listen to this. Mm -hmm. 
<laughs> you see, she looked at me. It freaked me out the first time because I didn't notice. And all of a sudden, I see this head turning, turning to me. It was just really cool. And I haven't worked it all out. Apparently, you can, uh, you can do words. Oh, I can do multiple voices, which is really cool. Starts to be uglier. Come on, look at me. Now she's not looking at me. Now you're gonna think I'm crazy because I'm asking a, a plug-in. There you go. See? What are you doing? <laughs> We're not supposed to be here. Get out! That's pretty cool. I'm getting out, obviously. And the last one is like a play with spheres. Which is nice. So you have colors and you have colors here. And if I press the corresponding color, it's going to uh, move the spheres. So for example, this one doesn't move anything. It's just ambiance, but then uh, it's still, I need to move uh, octaves. Did I move the blue? Ah, sounds, they're cool. So, there you go. And <laughs> yeah. So, that's all very cool. So, what I thought I would do is um, get me some... I had my background and then I was listening to it and I thought, you know, it's missing something. It's missing like, it's missing like this, the tension and usually movies, if you, if, if you, um, if you, um, if you remember the, the like stressful movies, it's always like, there's a string bit. And at some point I thought, ah, I need an ostinato somewhere. So I put it here. I just felt like speaking in a voice like this. Why? I don't know. Because, because I have, I, I don't know. And, and when I recorded the first bits, I thought this reminds me of something. And I first thought it was Alan Wake, a video game from Microsoft, which was awesome. One of the best games I've played, um, but it wasn't that voice. And actually that voice, that voice is really not something I can do 
for long because my throat hurts. Um, it's actually the Max Payne voice, which was another awesome video game. So cultural memes there. So I just did that and I spoke in that voice and I thought it was cool. Um, yeah, the, the crackling sometimes, oops. So anyway, so I decided to just do that and, and arrange it a little bit and put some, some, some shiny stuff on there. And uh, what we're going to do now is listen to the, to the result. We're going to listen to the result. Um, the whole song. Let's go. You know what? I'm going to just. Let's go. something um, is that this one is way too loud because I did uh, actually I didn't the volume so there's one I think this one here is a bit too loud let's see The voice comes out louder. What to do? Give me the money. Give me the money. That's what they'll do. Yeah, that's better. All right, that's that's the song. I mean, it took me. It didn't take me a lot of time to um, to do without the technical issues, but you know I had fun. Um, I, I hope you like it. Hopefully you like it. Um, uh, there's you can put comments pretty much everywhere on Twitch or on YouTube, um, and I'll do another one soon. Um, so again, thank you for uh, for looking at it, for watching it, and uh, give me your feedback, and um, I'll be here soon. Bye. <laughs>